What up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn from Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor of Complex Sneakers. And this, of course, is Full Size Run Show. We do have a guest this time around, a legend no other than Mr. Kareem Biggs Burke Thank in you. the building. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, We've fellas. got a lot to Appreciate talk it. about. Can't a lot to you talk out. about. Yeah. <laughs> Who is Kareem Bigsburg? You want me to say that? Yeah. I thought y'all would give me a great intro, man. I mean, I could if you want. I can, I can we'll recite some liner notes. We'll allow you to reintroduce yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. This guy's been on point the whole time. <laughs> there, there's something I want to ask you. So I did an interview with you when the for Complex, when the shoes uh, came out for mm -hmm. Complex Comp, right? And, you know, we talked about- You did? What's your name, man? Matt no, I'm just messing with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. 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 Anyways, anyways. He's a busy so. man, man. He can't remember everything. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get you two cents on this? Justin Timberlake uh, being, a, being a spokesperson sort of uh, for, for Jordan. Is that hot? I mean, I, we've been arguing about this. I don't get this. <laughs> I think it was actually good for Justin to do something with Jordan because now you can do activations in each market. Yeah. And it also helps, you know, as a marketing guy. You're saying I'm wrong. And a music guy. He hates I'm, it so much. I'm looking at it from He's a, looking at it from a ROI perspective. Yes, exactly. You're just upset about the culture vulture. I mean, I just don't. And the other thing, like like I said, like, how how does Justin Timberlake have this peachy relationship seemingly with Jordan Brand? And, and we're hearing all this stuff about Drake not feeling great about his Jordan brand deal. How do you, like Drake is so hugely important. Like yeah. he should be the guy and you're focusing all, you know, I'm hearing about entertainment marketing doesn't know how to handle him. And you know, maybe he feels like Assad Khaled has a better deal than he does. A lot of people are big in music. Yeah. Doesn't mean that they're big as a brand. Yeah. You know, so. Drake? Th there's a lot of people that's big <laughs> in music. You're gonna say it again. <laughs> that, but doesn't mean that they're big as a brand. There's a lot of artists that just sells records. Doesn't mean that they can sell things outside of that. Okay. Doesn't mean that the kids want to drive like them or be like them. You think about the people who never really had that much success, relatively speaking, Pharrell, mm -hmm. who actually moves the needle when he, you know, when he was touching clothes and sneakers and doing things yes. like that. Kanye, you're talking you know, the biggest Pharrell stand right here. So yeah, like, yes, yes, perfect. yeah. So there's, <laughs> there's people. Made my point. There's people who do that, right? And Jay, but there's <laughs> other guys who sold much more than them. But if you put a sneaker on them, doesn't mean that they were going to sell sneakers or clothes. <laughs> 